That's right, Leanne. Well, you know what? She's a rising star in the dangerous world of marine diving. I'm talking about Soweto-born Ratanang Maramane's never-say-die attitude that has seen her come a long way. Now, her achievement as one of only two black female divers in the SA Navy since 2007 is proof of this steely determination and the passion she has for her labour of love. I love the adventurous nature of my job. It's not an ordinary nine to five job based in the office. So the nature of my job, as physically challenging as it may be, is what I actually love. My name is Ratanang Maremani. I'm a commercial diver by profession. It is also known as technical diving. It entails, amongst other things, underwater damage control, maintenance and repairs on infrastructure. In many instances, on construction projects, you are the ears, the eyes, and the brains of the engineer underwater. A normal day for a diving job, for me, would start off when a client calls in with the requirements that they need. Once we are called out and we have the whole information, we would plan the dive. Planning a dive is very important because there's limited communication down there. So you need to ensure prior to going out on a job that everybody understand what their role is. Once the job is planned, the equipment is set out and then everybody goes off to the job. Once the job is completed, it's maintenance on all the equipment because that's life-saving equipment. So we need to take care of the equipment so that it takes care of the divers as well. At the age of nine, we had a family holiday trip to Durban. It was shocking to see such large volumes of water. The love of water came at a later stage in my life when I, by default, found myself in the South African Navy. Once I was part of the South African Navy, I got the opportunity to undergo career exhibitions and that's where I got to learn about uh, diving. And because of the type of person I am, I fell in love with diving then. Qualifying as the second black female diver in the South African Navy was something I really did not expect. As a female in the industry, you will always be expected to prove yourself. However, once the guys get to see that you are capable, a level of trust is built and it should always be remembered that where there are limitations to females, that's where teamwork comes into place. Diving is not just about a diver alone, it's entirely about a team. So that is very important. I love the adventurous nature of my job. It's not an ordinary nine to five job based in the office. So the nature of my job, as physically challenging as it may be, is what I actually love. It's a male dominated industry. My advice to young women wanting to come into this industry is that they should surely go for it. Even though the environment will probably always be male dominated, um, it shouldn't be a restricting factor for women. The opportunities are there and diving is not just about the technical work. Diving can be merged with any other profession. There is scientific diving, which is research-based. There's military diving, there's police diving. So to young women out there, do the research, find a mentor, find someone you can talk to that will give you proper advice. Come into the industry, explore it. Opportunities are there.